Hey everybody, it's Miraline, Delicious Delights. I'm at an outlet mall. Let's just walk in here. Okay, sorry guys, I had to cut out the audio for this film clip because there was music in here, it was quite loud, so you'll just have to um, put up with my voiceover. <laughs> so anyways, it's been a long time since I've made a video like this. Uh, truth is, I haven't been doing a lot of shopping in store lately. It's been a quite a long time. A lot of times uh, where I live, they don't even allow to film. So for this particular occasion, I had to ask the, the lady there who work, who was working if I could film and she was nice enough to let me do that. So this was, as I said earlier, an outlet mall in Lely Stad. It's called Batavia Stad. And um, yeah, this is a perfume store that unfortunately is going to close down. Um, I guess they aren't uh, making enough here for sales. And so a lot of the stuff here was uh, priced reasonably. There is something in particular that really, really got me excited. You'll see in, in a bit. Um, but anyways, I'm just going through some of the fragrances here that I see. We have Olympia Aqua. I don't think I've tried that one before. Um, Trusardi, my name, I see there. Shiseido Zen, I still haven't tried that one. Uh, here we have Lolita Lampica. This one is Mon O. don't think I've tried that one yet either um shiseido zen i think that's people have said that smells similar to coco mademoiselle by chanel there's prada iris infusion to iris really nice scent girl of now forever uh shiseido i don't remember i think it's i don't remember <laughs> yeah okay this is Girls Can Say Anything by Zadig and Voltaire. I think from that collection, my favorite would be Girls Can Be Crazy, which was very much like a Coke and vanilla scent. Okay, so this is what got me quite excited. Uh, they had the testers on sale. So there was a big assortment of testers. A lot of these ones were cheapy perfumes, um, dupe perfumes. Uh, that one was one dollar or one euro sorry for a cool water um, tester there was just a little bit left in there uh, but can't really go wrong for a euro i did pick up a few of these just for fun uh, so i can try them out um, i'll probably reveal those in another video um, that's chloe an old bottle of chloe or chloe or chloe <laughs> for two euros um, I think we saw a James Bond fragrance. I see that brand quite a lot here at the local chemist. That white bottle up there is a, a Diesel Plus Plus Feminine, which is one of my high school scents that I really enjoyed. I think this one looks like a dupe of Bright Crystal or Yellow Diamond, sorry, by Versace. Just the shape of these bottles, you can see which fragrances they were trying to um, imitate. That one looks like something from Valentino, I think. Okay, what else do we see here? I think that's um, Banana Republic for five euros. La Rive. I've heard quite a lot about, about that brand, that they do really good dupes. And some more diesel perfumes there as well. I see a Britney Spears fantasy there. This is Guess Gold for five euros. I'm, I'm thinking that might be discontinued. Not sure. Yeah, five euros for a partial bottle. I guess it would be like 30% full or so. And CK1 Summer. I would guess that was like three years ago or four years ago with that edition. So yeah, I did go through every single one of these just to make sure um, I didn't miss anything that was like a hidden gem or something. But 
yeah, I, in another video, probably the next video, I will be revealing which ones I picked up from this uh, selection of tester bottles. Here's a red high heel. <laughs> Makes me think of Carolina Herrera, good girl. Okay, what does that bottle look like? Hmm, I don't know what that bottle looks like. Nothing that I can think of right now. Yeah, so it's really sad that they're closing down. The, the girl told me they're only staying uh, open only for another week. So I guess maybe in the last, last days, they might even have a bigger sale going on. Um, when I went there, it's just, it was 10% off of the sale price over for things that aren't already on sale. So yeah, I wonder what they do with all of these leftover perfumes. Maybe they go to like Notino or some other uh, online discount web shops. Maybe that's how they get rid of all of the, the merchandise. Scandal. I don't think I've tried the men's scandal yet, but I haven't heard much about it in the community. So now we're on over to the women's side of the perfumes. Yeah, their shelves didn't look very stocked. You can see there's like a lot of blank space going on in there. There's a Jean-Paul Gaultier scandals and La Belle. And here are some Paco Rabanne perfumes. We also had some makeup and stuff. Okay, so now some more. These are mostly, well, it says that they're men's perfumes, but they mix some women's ones in there too. I thought this bottle was really cute. Uh, Salvador Dali, but I can't, can't make out exactly. La Belle something. <laughs> but that's a really nice bottle. And then they had some pick and mix ones where you can get one for $24.95 or two for $45. So we have Roma Passion. Is that a new one? I don't think I've heard of that one. I know of the, the old one, the Roma. Uh, this is a flanker of Lex Dawes. And that one is Caress de Roses. I do own the original Lex Dawes. It's a nice scent. I like it a lot. And then Lolita Lampica again. This perfume I see at drugstores a lot. The Anais Anais um, Premier Delice. But I haven't had a chance to try it. Uh, let's see here. Some Agent Provocateur. I have tried this one, Fatal Intense. I wasn't a huge fan of it. This one I heard a little bit about in the community, the girl, a girl in Capri. I think it's like a citrusy scent. Also the Pleats Please, I haven't tried before. This one, I think someone, I heard someone compare it to Fahrenheit for men but the tester was empty. Yeah, these police bottles are quite interesting. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of the skull look. I know there's one police perfume that quite a few of you have recommended to me that it's similar to Scandal by Night. I can't remember exactly which one it is now, but if you, if you do know which of the police perfumes that smells like Scandal by, by Night. I'd love to hear that because I really like Scandal by Night a lot. Okay, what do we have here? Some... I don't know what we have. <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at. So there's some Chloe and some Narciso Rodriguez perfumes. Those ones weren't really discounted a lot. And now we see some men's fragrances that are on sale for $24.95. I do like the Burberry London for men. I think that's a great scent. CK Summer. Easy going scents. Can't really go wrong with those. 
but a lot of them smell quite similar. And what else here? <laughs> the dumbbell ball, that's kind of, uh, the dumbbell per, um, perfume bottle is kind of funny. <laughs> And yeah, so we're nearing to the end of this video. As I said earlier, I will I will reveal which testers I bought in another video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this quick shopping video. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I'll see you soon in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.